What's up everyone, welcome back to another, welcome back, you haven't even been gone. What's up everyone, welcome to another Squarespace tutorial. In this video I'm going to cover something that Eagle Eye viewers of a previous video picked up on, which was a sort of multicoloured hover trailing sort of effect for your text. Okay, to kick this one off, we're going to need to add some script to the site, so I'll leave that in the description below. And just in case you don't know where the description is, is a Photoshop visualisation of it. Once you've copied the code, head back over to Squarespace. And then we led to our site-wide code injection, so we go settings, advanced and code injection. And in the footer section, we'll add some script tags, so we'll go left angle bracket, script, right angle bracket, and then we'll paste the script in between the tags, and save. Next, we need to add the text, so we'll go to edit our page. And then in here, I'm just going to drop a code block. Let's just move this over a bit. And then remove the demo content. I'm going to go left angle bracket. That's clearly a right angle bracket. Left angle bracket. H1 class equals quotation mark. And we'll call this one text hyphen hover. Quotation mark, right angle bracket. And then we'll add our text between the tags using an unnecessarily dramatic visualization of the power of copy and paste. And then apply. And save. And if we hover over the text now, you can see it's not working because we need to apply some CSS to specify the colors and the transitions. So if we head over to our custom CSS, And in here, I'm going to go dot text hyphen hover space span space curly brackets. And then between these brackets, we'll go transition colon color. And I'm going to go 3s semicolon. Onto a new line, we're going to go transition hyphen delay. Colon, 1s, semicolon. I'm going to come down onto a new line and then I'm going to take a copy of this first part. We'll paste that in below. And after spam, we'll go colon, hover. More curly brackets and then between these brackets, we'll go transition, colon, colour. And we want this to happen instantly, so we're going to put 0s. So this is referring to the amount of time it takes for the colour to change when you initially hover over the text. So we'll paste our line back in again. And then after span, we'll go colon nth hyphen child. Normal brackets. Between these brackets, we'll go 1n. And then outside of the brackets, colon hover. It's important to mention as well that there's no spaces between all this part. And then we'll put some curly brackets in. And then for this, we're just going to affect the colour. So we'll go colour, colon, and I'm just going to start off with an orangey sort of colour. So this is where you can personalise it. These colours are just as an example, but you can put whatever hex codes you want then to customise it to your site. And then if I hover over the text now, you can see that it's all starting to take shape. So if we just take a copy of all this again. Come down to a new line, we're going to paste it back in. And we're going to change 1N to 2N. And we'll change the colour on this one as well. And then if we hover over, you can see that we've got the two colours going on. So you could leave it at two colours. I'm just going to add the third one. So I'll just take another copy of this. Paste that back in. Change 2N to 3N. And again, change the colour to something else. And then if we hover over the text now, you can see that we've got the multicolours going on. So you can add more lines if you want. So if you want to add a fourth colour, you just take a copy of this. Paste it back in below. Change 3N to 4N, and again, change your colour. But I'm just going to leave this at three colours. So you might have noticed when we put this block in, we give it a H1 tag, which isn't ideal. You might want to change it to H2 or H3 or even paragraph text. So to do that, we'll go to Edit. We'll come back into our code block. And we'll change H1 to H2. And the closing tag as well. So this can be H2, H3 or paragraph as I say. I'm just going to leave this as H2 as an example, and apply, and then save. And then if we hover over the text now, you can see that it's not working. That's because we need to tell the script that we've changed the tag of the text. So if we go back to our site-wide code injection, I'm 
And then we've got our make spans H1 right down at the bottom there. We're going to change H1 to H2. And then if you hover over it now, you can see that it's all working fine. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more Squarespace-related paraphernalia. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.